All right, we have a great new uh, segment from Rick today, Rick's Corner, with a topic that we see in the support tickets often being searched in the forums is how to add and place banner ads in different sidebar sections of your website. So yeah, uh, I'll pass over the controls to you and you can take us through the steps of A to Z on what a banner ad is and how to place it in different uh, sections of the website. Perfect. So as Jason just stated, the idea behind what we're going to go over is to show you how easy it is to upload your own banner, your own image, and then add that image throughout different sidebars on the website. So in order to get started, we're here in the dashboard and we're going to navigate to the settings and open up those design settings. And I'm navigating to the banner add designs tab, this one right here. Okay, so the first step, if you want to display banners through the website, is to ensure that you're turning them on, right? This is very common and it usually goes on notice. So display banner advertisement, you want to set that one up to yes. Bear in mind that then you have to choose which banners you want to display, right? For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to use this one, the first one, sidebar banner at number one. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up this field. The next step is going to be to upload the image, right? So in this case, we're going to replace the uh, current existing image. So I'm just going to click here. It's just going to open up the media manager, allowing me to upload the image. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one that I've already uploaded. Uh, the uploading process, super straightforward, just a matter of clicking upload image. You should be ready to go. Since I've already uploaded, I'm just going to select it here. I'm going to choose that one. So now I've successfully uploaded the image and I've successfully selected the image onto the sidebar banner ad number one, All right? This is very important to note. The name of the widget is what we're going to use in order to call this specific banner onto the sidebar. All right, so the next step is just simply going here and saving the changes. All right, so the next step that I'm gonna do is figure out what sidebar I want to use. And uh, a very common occasion, to be honest, is the search results for the different features. In this particular scenario, we're going to focus on the coupons. So basically what I want to do is just show the banner right underneath the search module. So a quick tip here, in order to spot the name of the sidebar, simply click on the magnifying glass option right here, the same as show widgets. And this is going to give us the name of the sidebar. It's going to make it easier for us to identify where we want to call this. So let me scroll down. So I know that the name of this sidebar is post search results. So that's the sidebar that I'm going to add the banner that I just uploaded. Okay, so let me jump to the back end one more time. So what we're going to do is navigate to the sidebar manager. So that's under toolbox and we're going to open up the sidebar manager. Okay, so here we have the default sidebars that appear on all Brilliant Directory's websites. The one that we just spotted was the post search results. So this is the one that we want to edit. So let's go ahead and click edit. All right, so I mentioned earlier that the name of the widget was super important because that's how you're going to call the widget onto the sidebar. So the name of this specific widget is Bootstrap Theme Banner Responsive Size. So that's the widget that holds the image that I uploaded before. Let me jump back to the sidebar manager. Let me go ahead and search for responsive. So responsive size, bootstrap theme banner, responsive size. So this is the banner that I want to go ahead and use. The process is super straightforward. It's just a matter of dragging and dropping. I just need to click on it and bring it over right here. There you go. So now we have two banners, basically the same. The same widget is used twice. Um, you can leave it like that because, again, you can use a different widget here. You can have like four banners if you want it. So the next step is just simply go in here and save in the changes. All right, so the sidebar has been saved successfully. Let's hit OK. So basically what this means is that we have already uploaded the image to the widget and we have now added the widget onto the sidebar. If we navigate back to the page that we were on, which is the slash coupons, and I hide the widgets, which basically refreshes the page as well. And there you go. So these are the banners. And basically this is how you get the banner to display on to the sidebar. I have one question. So you put the same banner in, uh, in the sidebar. What if I wanted to put two different banners there instead of the same one? Okay, let's go ahead and do that process. 
So if you want to use different widgets, then just go ahead and use a different section from this tab. So we use the sidebar banner one. I want to add another one. So I'm going to use the one that's underneath it. So I'm going to use the sidebar banner at number two. Let's go ahead and follow the same process we did before. We upload the image. Okay, so I'm going to use the one that I have underneath it that I've already uploaded myself, the 250 by 250. So that's the one that I want to use. And then the name of this widget is Bootstrap Team Banner Responsive Size 2. So I've already uploaded the image. Now let me go ahead and save the changes. Okay, there you go. All right, and then the next step, since we already know what sidebar we want to use, we don't have to go and spot the sidebar. We can simply go to the Sidebar Manager. Let me go ahead and open up the Sidebar Manager again, just so that I don't confuse you guys. Okay, so the sidebar that we want to edit is this one, the Post Search Results. So let me go ahead and edit this. All right, I'm going to search for the responsive size number two, which is the other banner that we want to use. So let's go ahead and search for responsive again. Um, but this time I'm going to select this one, the responsive size number two. I'm just going to drag it, drop it underneath the one that we added before, and I'm going to save the changes. I don't want to make this too confusing, so I'll just go ahead and delete the other one so we don't have a duplicate banner here. So I'm just going to delete this one. Okay and save the changes again. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and jump back to the front end to the slash coupons page, and let's do a hard refresh here. So what we should have now would be the coupon search. We have the banner that we originally uploaded, and then we have the second one that we just uploaded this time. Basically, that's how you get two to show. Rick, thank you so much for presenting on that topic. Super helpful for a lot of people looking to place banner ads around their site.